I'm Shalom. And first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord, Savior, and Deliverer, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Akakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. He taught us this 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, via the Holy Scriptures. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect out there doing this work. You know, across the four corners of the earth in all truth and sincerity, risking their lives. As well as the speckled bear who are Israelites that look like the other nations. But who, who whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. As well as the Aguatheum, the sisters, listening and learning and taking heed to this word. All right, Shalom, I'm Mr. Brother Abaji, with a, uh, you know, a lesson through the Spirit, as usual, you know, basically going into, you know, the, uh, this grace period that we under, all right, you know, because this is, you know, it's just that, this is a grace period that we under, all right, through the, the mercies of Yahweh, all right, and the Lord is, is being exceedingly graceful. Uh, gracious and merciful to us, you know, seeing that um <clears throat> this whole this whole pandemic thing going on, and in the midst of that, the Lord is still allowing us to, you know, allowing the prophets to be out there on the streets, on the highways and hedges, prophesying the word. All right, the internet's still up, even though, you know, the algorithms is being intensified, and you know, um, it's, it's not too much. You know, you, you basically basically gotta. You know, finesse and finagle the way you speak on, um, you know, when it comes to YouTube. All right, but eventually, there's going to be uh, a famine of the word, meaning, you know, the prophets is not going to be out there on the highways and hedges no more. You know, you're not going to be able to find brothers' videos no more on the, on the internet because they're going to be removed. Okay. And, um, you know, the doors of repentance, they're going to be closed because, you know, the Lord is going to um, hide his face from from uh, two-thirds of Israel, okay? So this is why the prophets, beginning with the apostles and elders on down, are warning the sheep, which are Israelites. Us Israelites are the so-called Negroes and Blacks, so-called Latinos and Hispanics, and the so-called Native and Seminole Indians. Okay, we were commanded to warn the sheep from Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha to repent, okay, and turn from the wickedness of this world, okay? Stop following the, the, the laws, the ways, the beliefs, the, the religions, and, and everything else in between that, that comes with this, this um, wicked kingdom, America, Babylon the Great. And we're telling you to return to your power, man, and repent. Okay? And, uh, you know, some 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 going to listen and take heed, but majority of Israelites is not. All right, but nevertheless, the scriptures tell us to to, you know, uh, roughly paraphrase, to continue to warn the, the sheep, you know, whether they were here or whether they were, whether they were forbear. Okay, and this is what we're doing, man, through the Spirit, man. And, you know, a Dawada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah and Barakatha Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah for taking us out of this spirit of darkness, you know, the spirit of slumber that we was once in. Okay, and that is the grace and the mercy of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, because there are certain brothers. There are, there are a number of, of brothers, sisters, and even children out there who were uh, who was, who was given the light, that light being this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, this truth, okay? You have certain, uh, a, number of, a certain number of people, which there are still more Israelites who have to be woken up because we are in the, in the midst of that mass awakening of Israel coming back to remembrance of who we are, our heritage, okay, our way of life. Who our power is, what his name is, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and, and the things that um, we are supposed to be taking part in, and the ways that we're supposed to be living in, be coming back into that. And, you know, uh, we also have to remember, you know, like the scriptures say, uh, you know, for many are called, but few are chosen. You know, so we have to keep in mind that just as easily, you know, as the Lord was merciful enough to, to wake you up to this truth, 
the Lord can be, you know, the Lord is about balance. So just as, as merciful as he was, the Lord can be just as cold and, and strip this truth right out of your spirit and out of your mind to where you, you, you know, you don't even remember anything that has to do with this truth. And you become those scoffers that you rebuked and that you, you know, was, was warning. Okay, so you have to, you know, be humble in this thing. When we come into this truth, we have to remain humble, knowing that this is all by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh's mercy that we even um, in this truth. All right, so, you know, the title of my lesson is Seek Him Ten Times More. All right, because once we come into this truth, once we are awakened to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it becomes harder. Um, like the scriptures uh as it is written, um, let me get it real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter one and eighteen. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth increaseth sorrow, man. Okay, so once we come into this truth, um, the scriptures also speak about uh, at first when you eat the roll, you know, it's, it's sweet to your mouth as honey. Okay, but then it becomes bitter in your belly, meaning once you begin to really understand and digest the things that we, that we, um, you know, that we into that, that, that comes with being in this truth, you know, you, you, you come to the realization that, man, this, this thing is serious. This is not something to take lightly. It's some real serious, you know, we risking our lives, literally, to, to bring out the word of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushah, to manifest and magnify the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushah, and to, you know, you know to just to stand stiffly for this gospel, okay? Defend this gospel. You know, we, you know when we come into this thing, we're going to be hated because they hated our Lord, Yahweh Shah, when he was on the scene, you know, uh, rebuking, bringing out the word, quoting the scriptures, okay, teaching. Uh, righteousness so you know the lord being our master and us him, his servants lord willing okay the servant is not greater than his master so we're going to go through that same hell because the world hated yahweh shot first so by default it's going to hate us you had the lord himself on you know walking the earth and uh trying to get people to repent so how much less are they going to respect his men lord willing we be of you know of the elect and be his men they not gonna. They damn sure not gonna respect us. All right. So, you well, know, you know. With that being said, you know, we just have to prepare ourselves for the things that that are at hand. Okay. We have to count the cost. All right. This is the book of Job, chapter thirty-three and verse four. The spirit of Yahweh, the Most High, hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. All right. And and that life is the is the living water, okay. Yeah, this is the book of Saint John, chapter seven and verse thirty-eight, and it reads, "He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water." Okay, out of your belly, meaning, you know. Your, your your belly or your gut is like uh it's like a, a brain it's like a second brain meaning it holds a lot of information you know whatever the foods you eat the the food that we eat it comes with uh vibrations it comes with energy it comes with information and our our gut our bellies retain that information so you know out of our bellies is going to flow rivers of living water so when we when we you know when the lord blesses us with this truth and we believe and we're not offended at the things that that um, come into this truth because you know there are some dark scenes, there are some some very explicit things in the, in the scriptures, man. The scriptures is as raw as it get, okay. And it's a stumbling block to a lot of people. So a lot of people is not going to believe because of you know their denial or their um, lack of um, you know facing reality, basically. But those who believe and those who have the confidence that you know the things written in the scriptures is the truth. Out of their bellies shall flow rivers of living water, and that those rivers of living water is just is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And uh, let's prove that.
Pastor Lockie, you bear with me real quick. So like you, you know, uh, I was thinking of the scripture that um that says the word, you know, the Lord's word shall shall drop down as the dew of heaven, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, because that's the Lord that's talking about the Lord's word, man. All right, the Lord's word is, is as the dew of heaven. All right, that that living water, and it says um the spirit of the Most High hath made me in the breath. Of the Almighty hath given me life. In the book of St. John, chapter 6, and verse 63, it says, So lucky. All right, it says, and this is the uh, Yahweh Shah speaking, man, our Lord. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, okay, this truth, this knowledge, you know, the, 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 these scriptures, man. You know, they are, they are you know, and as, it's, as it is written, um, you know, the, roughly paraphrasing, you know, the scriptures is written of Yahweh Shah. All right, he comes in the volume of the book. All right, so it, you know it goes hand in hand. These scriptures is, is is the life. If you're not abiding in these scriptures, you're walking around in the congregation of the dead. Okay, so you know the, these um, scriptures that we are to be constantly meditating in, they give us life. They quicken. They quicken us. All right. And uh, another, you know, for further, further edification, to back that scripture up. So like, yeah, I can't can't think of the scripture right now, man. But you know, that's the point. You know, continuing on, this is Psalms 124 and verse one, a song of degrees of David. It, it if it had not been for Yahweh, who was on our side, if it had if it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, when men rose up against us. Okay, meaning our enemies, even within our nation, they had, then they had swallowed us up quick. Then their wrath was kindled against us. When their wrath was kindled against us, man. So if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you know, if the Lord is not protecting you, 
it don't matter what you got, you know, what kind of weapons, what kind of army or mighty men on your side or any of that. If the Lord ain't protecting you, you know, uh, you know, you really have no protection. All right. You no. Know, so it was by the Lord's mercy that, that we was uh, called into this truth. All right. Uh, Lamentations 3 and 22. It is of Yahweh's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. The Lord is very merciful. The Lord is very, you know, long suffering, very patient with us. All right. And the Lord has compassion on those who, who, um, who does his will. All right. It says they are not, uh, they are new every morning. Great is thy, thy faithfulness. The Lord brings forth his mercy every morning. All right, his, his mercies are uh, renewed every morning. Okay? The Lord has mercy on us when we when we wake up, man. We, when we woke up this morning, that was the Lord having mercy on us. The Lord could have took us away in our sleep. Or, you know, he could have allowed something to happen to our homes. You know, you know Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, I was All right, but, you know, if, if you were a wicked person, the Lord can allow you to, to be in a deep sleep and your house catch on fire. You know, or somebody to break into your house and murder you in your sleep. All right, when the Lord wakes you up in the morning, man, and you still in good health, you still able to call on the Lord's name. All right, you still able to bless the Lord's name, and you know, be in good health and in your right mind. You still know the truth. That's a blessing. That's the Lord having mercy and compassion on you. All right, but likewise, the Lord is about balance. So, you know, there there are wicked people out there whom the Lord is angry with every day. All right, so you know, we have to keep in mind, man, that the Lord just as just as the Lord is having mercy, the Lord is also judging. This is Zephaniah chapter three and verse five. Uh, the just Lord Yahweh is in the midst thereof; He will not do iniquity. The Lord is righteous all the time, and you know the Lord's judgments are always righteous judgments. It says, every morning doth he bring forth judgment. Bring, it's lucky. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Man. And you don't want to be a part of those, um, those the unjust uh, category who knoweth no shame. People who, they're not taking into account their actions and the things that they say, even the things that they say at their mouth. All right. So just like the Lord is bringing forth his compassion and his mercy every morning, he brings forth his judgment as well for those wicked, those uh, unjust people. All right, St. John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should, re, uh, should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. All right, this is our Lord, Yahweh Shah, speaking to those men, women, and children, but you know specifically the men, all right, that he has chosen, okay, because it because it says bring forth fruit, meaning to go out there and do the work, okay, whether you be um you know this is particularly talking about those who are going to be prophets, all right, the the prophets are bringing forth the fruit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right, and that fruit is going to remain because we speak in according to the scriptures, according to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah's heart. All right, we we doing the will of the heavenly Father, which He delights in. All right, the the Lord is um pleased with the foolishness of of preaching. All right, and and not only that, you know, us us rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our abilities, man, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, doing the you know the whole will of the heavenly Father. All right, observing His high holy days, presenting our bodies living sacrifice. All right, going out on the highways and hedges, teaching. You know, giving up all that we thought we had and that we was pursuing and all of that for this for this word, you know, for to to bring forth this um to this work. All right. And the Lord has has chosen certain men, but many are called, but few are chosen. That's not to say we are of the elect, the of the elect, because we are of the hopeful elect. But we were chosen to do this work. There are it's men out there who get called into this truth. And they actually, they actually, you know, start laboring in this work. They go out there and they prophesy. But then, 
you know, they let the, the, the lust of the world pull them back out. All right. They, they spirit is, is, um, is weaker than, uh, other men who, who endure and who, who may remain steadfast doing this work. You have men who actually picked up the plow and began to, to prophesy, began to do the Lord's work. All right. But they wasn't all in. Therefore, they was put back into the world. So they were, they were the call, but they wasn't the chosen to do this work. You know? 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. All right, so... The Lord said, man, hey, his, his grace is sufficient for us. And, and part of his grace is waking us up to this truth. If you just look around, man, you know, from, from, the, from the, the filthy rich celebrities on down to the, you know, the everyday neighborhood dude or, or woman you see around, you know, everybody's miserable, man. All right, but this the spirit... Okay, the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushak quickens us, keeps us, you know, uh, at peace. It keeps us comf you know, in, in, in comfort. Okay, we know this ain't our rest, and we're not completely, you know, blind and sitting around comfortable like everything all good. But at the same time, we're more comfortable and more at peace than the, the people around us. All right? And that's the grace. All right? And, and, and that alone should, you know, it should prompt you to, you know, to, to have appreciation, to be um, grateful. All right, the Lord didn't have to wake you up to this truth. He didn't have to uh, enlighten you, you know. He could have kept you out there in darkness. All right, so we, we have to remain humble that and, and knowing that, man, the Lord can, can not only put you back in, in, uh, in the world, but the Lord can take you out for not taking uh, His grace seriously. All right. This is the book of St. John 14 and 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you he shall give you another comforter, even so like and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. And that comforter is talking about the Holy Scripture, man. All right, this is our comforter. That's why the scriptures say, uh, wherefore comfort each other. Comfort one another with these words, even as you do. Uh, reference, no paraphrasing. And we comfort each other with these words. This is the comforter. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Okay? we supposed to constantly be meditating on these scriptures. All right? Taking in as much... Uh, wisdom and knowledge as we can because that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times these times that we're coming into alright this this grace period is almost over man it's about to get serious okay and, and if you was playing around and BSing man that's that's on you okay but you no know, we're taking this 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 grace period seriously man and we and we, we showing forth we, we bringing forth you know that that we showing our gratitude by doing the work, okay? By constantly meditating in the scriptures, by you know um, doing these doing these live videos and you know the lessons and, and going out on the highways and hedges, okay? And and, and everything else, all right? So that so that this may dwell in us. The scriptures tell us to hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And what is that that we have that we are to hold fast to? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, as well as our faith. Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yeah, the Lord is going to sup with you if you are, uh, you know, genuine and sincere. If you're doing this thing in, in all truth and sincerity, man. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. All right, so we have to keep in mind, man. Everybody wasn't blessed enough to to even know this truth. Even the ones that 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 were called into this truth, but they didn't they didn't last. They didn't hold fast to it. 
they didn't take it seriously. They didn't do that which was required of them. Okay, because once you come into this into this fold, so to speak, there there are requirements for you, of you. You can't just come into this thing and just think you're gonna live the same life you was living before you woke up to the truth. Because it, 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 like it says, it'd be better for you that you have not known the truth. Uh, you know, ref, the paraphrasing that, that uh, scripture. You can't come into this truth and then continue to do what you was doing in the world, because the punishment that you're gonna get for that is is gonna be worse than when you were just in the world and you didn't know no better. All right, but it's people who were blinded. Uh, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. You see it every day. You know, people walking around don't know what the hell going on. People just worried about money. People just worried about, uh, you know, getting a new car. You know, not just that, you know, they covered in after it, you know. That's all, that's their only focus. You know, trying to flex, trying to, trying to, you know, rap, trying to get jewelry, trying to, you know, pursue their careers. They're not thinking about anything that the Lord requires of them. They're, they, those are the people in the spirit of slumber, man. They want this place to go back to normal so they can continue doing whatever it was that they was doing, continue to go on vacation, have fun, you know, continue to party, go to the club. Those are the people that were blinded. They have not obtained that which the election have obtained. And we're not saying we are of the elect. Okay, we are of the hopeful elect. But we have a good chance of being of the elect, you know, abiding in his work. All right? There are certain men, you know, that were given the spirit of truth, whom the world has not received. Right? And it cannot receive. All right, so man, that's not that's not something to just be like, oh, okay. No, that's that's a true gift, a blessing from on high. To see the the things that these people be into, man, and, and that they don't, you know, these people. That's a scary thing, man, to not know what's going on, or or even to know what's going on and just not take it seriously. Ultimately, even that, you know. If you know what's going on and you're not taking it seriously, you don't know the extent of how serious it is. And what the Lord is about to bring, you know, before your very eyes, man, to, to America, Babylon the Great. The Lord is about to judge this place and you you're walking around trying to go to the club and, and party and, and bullshit. You have to be in the spirit of slumber for that. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24. But let him that glorious glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh. All right, so if we're going to glory, man, we're supposed to glory in that, you know, the Lord has blessed us. Okay, we truly blessed. You know, beyond words, man, we, we blessed to be able to know who Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is. And, and the, the 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 greatness, and not only the greatness, the terribleness of the Lord, man. And as the scriptures say, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We don't want to see, just like the Heavenly Father don't want, it's not the Heavenly Father's will that some should perish, that, that his people has to be cut off. It's not it's not our will, and it, you know, which even, it, it's all according to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh will, but it's not we don't delight in having to see our people um cut off but it be it be days when you just see the wickedness of our people and you like man it got to happen because they they just absolutely rebellious and disobedient and they don't they can't be told anything so the only way to to have them righteous is to be born righteous through the loins of the elect man and that's what we we laboring for we laboring to be of the elect so we don't have to, to um, go through that 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 terrible judgment that two thirds of our people gonna go through. All right, but we but we glory in the fact that we not in that spirit no more. We not in that that gross darkness no more because of the grace and the mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. 
All right. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 26 and 41. It says, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, man, the Lord's prayer, man. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. You know, this is what we're supposed to be praying. That the Lord does not lead us into that temptation. Because we enter in, into the, the hour of temptation, which is going to be that RFID microchip, that mark of the beast. Okay, when you're not able to buy anything, you're not able to buy food. First of all, you're not even going to be able to work to have money to buy anything. All right, you're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to buy food. You're not going to be able to buy your everyday necessities. It ain't going to be no, wa no water you know, to, to shower. Some, some people may be homeless. You know, people are really, we, we really about to be tested. All right, and, and it's a blessing that the Lord has gave us this period, all right, to, to, to labor. Okay, so that we may, you know, increase our chances of, 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 of being uh, preserved, of being delivered. All right, because, man, hey, this, this, this temptation, this hour of temptation that we entered into, it's going to be very strong, very heavy. And, and knowing how weak our flesh is, we're going to need Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to direct us and to guide us through that. This is going to be a very heavy time, man. You know, it says, um, like, in this, like it says in uh, Sirach 2, uh, when, when, when thou come to, um, to worship the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? When you come to serve the Lord, man, prepare yourself for temptation. And that goes for, for everything, man. Anything that you you might be tempted by. Women, drugs, money, you know, your career, your safety. All that apply. Romans 6 and 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace, Yahweh forbid. All right, so but knowing that we we under grace right now, we in this grace period, we're supposed to be using this grace period to lay up our treasures in heaven. All right, to do the will of the Heavenly Father, man, to, to do as much as possible with, with whatever lies in us, man, to please the Heavenly Father, man, because, look, man, a lot of people going to have to find out the worst way that the, the, the Heavenly Father was not planned and is not planned all right so man the lord is giving us this period so that we may we may you know do that do as much as possible to cover for the for the, all of the wickedness we have done man we have to think about as well the things that we've done in the past lives that the lord can can remember and punish us for all right, because the, the Lord don't forget as it is, but the Lord is very is very merciful and long suffering. All right, but the Lord can can um remember something that you've done in your past life that you haven't been judged for yet, and then judge your ass when you could have been doing things, you know, to to basically cover your 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 sins, your magnitude of sins, because we sin more than than we when, than we please the Lord, but that's why we under grace, man. Be, because of the blood shed by Yahweh Shah. All right, but just because we under grace, that don't mean we should be supposed to be out there sinning. You know, you got these Christians teaching teaching that you are that we already saved. So you can do whatever you want to do. Those people and the people that follow them and believe them, they they all going they all going to perish. All right, 1 Peter 2 and 15, for so is the will of the Most High, that with well-doing, the scriptures tell us to be not um, faint in well-doing, man, or be not weary in well-doing, all right, meaning, you know, hey, that that which, the, that which Yahweh B'Hashim Shem Yahweh Shah is delighting in, do that to, as much as possible to the best of your ability, all right.
It says that with well doing, you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness. Let's look up this word maliciousness. Because you got a lot of people out there who just, they're just exceedingly wicked, man. And these people truly have convinced themselves that this is a, a time to, to get all of their little last, last little bit of wickedness out. No. Okay, maliciousness means wickedness, man. Evil, trouble. So, it says as free and not using your liberty or your freedom for a cloak of maliciousness. Okay, it, this, is, this grace period is not to be used as a covering for your wickedness. Okay, but as servants of the Most High, we're supposed to be serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in all spirit, okay, in, in spirit and in truth. With all sincerity. It's not a, a time to be out there murdering and stealing and killing, committing adultery and, and, and being idolizers and all that other shit, man. Because you because you know you under grace. The Lord will kill your ass. Thinking, you know, that's that's a form of tempting in the Lord. And the, the scriptures say, thou shalt not tempt your, uh, your power. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power, man. And you niggas out there is tempting the Lord. That's why y'all dropping like flies. All right? And the Lord got the spirit on a lot of y'all out there to kill each other. You dying in your own iniquities. Because you thought, you thinking that, you know, yo, yo, yo. Your wickedness is not going to be uh, brought back upon you. You got niggas that make songs talking about you reap what you sow, but they out there doing all type of wickedness, contradicting themselves. You These hypocrites, man. You got niggas who, who are proudly say on the song, you know, I'm going to die how I'm living. That's why the, that's why the Lord is, is bringing a lot of you rappers to the grave. Okay, we're supposed to be using this liberty, this grace period, as servants as uh, for the Most High, man. Galatians 5 and 13, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only, not only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another, man. This is not, this liberty, this, this grace period, this freedom that we have, this, this period of freedom that we have, is to be used... Okay, in righteousness. This is this this is the time to be, you know, um to be um you know laying up our treasures in heaven, man. It says not for um uh, not only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. You're not supposed to be um feeding your flesh. You're supposed to be feeding your spirit. And how do you feed your spirit, man? By doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Doing His work. Alright? You're supposed to be, you know, um, you know, presenting your body a living sacrifice by, by fasting. Okay? By praying. Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. But you got people out there who... who you know, as it is written, man, they, they you know they, they worship the most high with their lips, but their heart or their mind is far from the Lord. These people are only going about to establish their own righteousness. Or they only care about what they want to do and what they want to accomplish. But the Lord ain't dealing with that, man, and a lot of people are gonna have to see. Second Edges 9 and 10. For such as in their life hath have received benefits. And have not known me. 
yeah, it, it says, um, you know, and it's not necessarily talking about those who are rich, but those who, who the Lord is providing for. You people don't remember the, the Heavenly Father, you know, when, when you're doing good, when, when the Lord is providing for you, all right, when you on, you know, on top of your game, so to speak, when the Lord is giving you the things that you want and that you need. Y'all don't think about the Lord in those times. You only remember Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot in your afflictions, man, when you're going through it, when you need help. You only cry to the Lord and, and, and even remember the Lord when you're going through it. Then you want to ask the Lord to help you and, and let you get through this. You know, y'all even be making promises to the Lord. If you get through this, you're going to do that or you're going to stop doing this. But y'all don't hold. First of all, it's, if you make a promise to the Lord, if you make a vow to the Lord, you got you to gotta abide by that. You you're not just gonna make a vow to Yahweh by Shem and then and then turn back on it. The Lord the Lord gonna kill you, man. It's just it's just that simple. But you got people who will fix their mouth to to promise the Lord that if they get out of a certain situation, or or if they bring them something that they really want or that they really need at the time, that they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that or they're gonna stop doing this. And leave this behind. But then they, as soon as they get it, or as soon as the Lord takes something away from them or get them out of a certain situation, they forget completely about what they said. Do you think the Lord forgot about that? It says, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Y'all don't know the Lord. It says, ye, ye worship, ye know not what. Y'all don't know what y'all are worshiping. It's, as it is written, man, we know what we worship. We know our power. All right. And, and the water, Yahweh, by Shem, man. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. There go that word again. And they that have loathed my law or despised the Lord's law. While they had yet liberty, you got you, you people out there. You had freedom for a time. All right, look at look at before this whole little pandemic thing hit. You people had all the liberty in the world. I wasn't worried about what what the name of, of the heavenly Father is, and a lot of you people already have came in contact with brothers, or have came across brothers' videos on the internet, but y'all just completely just disregarded it. You got the nigga, um, what's his name? Uh, Marshawn Lynch, the football player. The brother out there in Hawaii have ran across a couple of uh, so-called celebrities. He ran across the nigga uh, Marshawn Lynch. He kept it moving with his with his little posse. You know, marked himself because the word of the Lord is 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 not uh, profitable for him. It wasn't important to him. The dude, David Banner, he know the truth. And this, this shows how, how hypocritical you niggas is, man. This nigga, David Banner, he be out there, you know, talking all that, that BS for, for, for uh, black people. Talking all that. You know, he, he call himself an activist. But this is the true, this is being a true activist, man. Warning your people from, from the Heavenly Father and our Lord who's about to come and destroy this place. Warning your people to repent so that they can be saved and delivered. That's being a true activist for your people. But you, but this nigga ran across a brother out there in Hawaii. But he had to go because he was on a phone call. That whatever these people is into is more important than than what the heavenly Father is saying right now. The Lord is pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh by way of His prophets, and these people ain't taking it seriously. It says, uh, I'm, I'm going to read 11 again. And when they, and they had, like, and they that have loathed my law. Because when you people walk away or you disregard the, the prophets or you avoid the prophets, you hate the Lord. And the Lord said, all they that, all they that hate me love death. You people mark yourself. It says, while they had yet liberty and when at yet place. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So you, you celebrities, 
and are you are, are you everyday Jakes as well? All right, men, women, children, old people, all of y'all that despise this word. It says, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. That's the only way you're going to know. Because when you had liberty, when you had freedom, when you had that chance, when, when, when the doors of repentance was open, when you had that grace period, y'all disregarded it. Y'all despised it. So you're going to have to find it out after death by pain. All right. So Sirach or Ecclesiastes 15 and 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. All right. The heavenly father hath not given any man license to sin. And nor have he commanded any man to do wickedly. Just because we're under grace, that don't mean you got freedom to do wicked. It said the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. What makes you think the Lord is not an author of confusion? So if you out there, just because you think you have grace, you out there doing wickedly because you under grace? No. All right. This is group uh, 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high. So being returned, seek him 10 times more, man. All right. So us, our minds or our hearts. As the scriptures say, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Our minds, okay, this flesh, these these chains of darkness that we in, is exceedingly wicked. But our spirits is what longs for that righteousness. All right, so it's our minds to go astray. But us being returned to Yahweh by Hashem Shah and His truth, we have to seek the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah. Ten times more. Okay, we have to remember that our spirit and our flesh are constantly fighting, are constantly battling each other. Because they're contrary one to the other. So, you know, you have to, you have to, hey, this is a fight. This is a fight to the end. It's going to be a fight. All right. But, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bukakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect. All right. Shalom.